In other news, 8 out of 24 boreholes constructed by a philanthropist to serve 24 communities on the Dwarf Island have all broken down. Ajwa Adobiowusu was in the area and has filed this report. Most communities on the Dwarf Island have had to rely on the Volta League for washing and drinking for years until a philanthropist came to their aid. The school children we have here in the Dwarf Island, mostly they drink from the water lake. In order to avoid waterborne diseases, I opened this place to my colleagues in Ireland and quickly they came in. So this is one of the boreholes that uh, we drill for the people on the Dwarf Island. Bojikope, Galilea, Persica, Patalija and Snapokope are some of the 24 communities that benefited from the borehole project on the Dwarf Island in the Farm Plains North. The 24 boreholes were all sited close to schools to serve both peoples and the community. But years on, eight of the boreholes have broken down. We drilled this borehole five years ago. So, you know, anything used for five years, they should be maintenance. So for now, some of them are not functioning. According to the circuit supervisor Francis Agbajo, construction of the borehole came along with its own challenges. This is a peninsula, almost an island. So my people in Ireland asked how best they could get to this place. So I told them we should construct a temporary road. So they brought bulldozer from Accra, and we started road construction from Fasubato uh, to this place, about um, 115 kilometers. Despite all these. The benefits the borehole provides cannot be underestimated. For now, the road is disappearing because after the program, uh, nobody came to our aid to help. And the people in the Dwarf Island communities are also in need of road. So they have been putting pressure on me to let this road be in place, but still nothing has been done about it. Several attempts to get the assembly to fix the boreholes have all failed. I told the this is assembly. We are still waiting for them. Then the MP came. She saw it. He said she will come and do it. And she stayed. A Farm Plains North District Chief Executive Samuel Kenu said he has communicated with an NGO to assist with fixing the boreholes. They are into some of these things. They even drill new ones. They will be coming down over here. So we will take them to some of these places. Whatever they do, is free of charge. The only thing is that we should provide accommodation for them. They come with their masons, their carpenters, their painters, everything. He also spoke about plans by the assembly on roads in the area. The challenge has been getting the grader and we wanted to rely on the grader services from the 48 field engineers. So we entered into an agreement with them. The assembly paid for one week. The grader came here. It worked for one and a half days. It also broke down. So that has been a major challenge. But that notwithstanding, our sister district, who are from Plain South, they have a grader. So we are in touch with them, trying to secure the services of that uh, grader and work on not only that road, but other feeder roads in the district. Access to water, sanitation, and hygiene is a human right, yet, Billions worldwide are still faced with daily challenges in assessing even the most basic of services. Proper water and sanitation is key for achieving the SDGs, including good health and gender equality. Ghana achieved the Millennium Development Goal target of halving extreme poverty and providing potable water for people without access to safe drinking water, which were attained well ahead of 2015. But Statistics show fewer than two in five Ghanaians drink safe water and three out of every five schools are without water supply. Much more efforts will have to be intensified to reach the remaining population without access to potable water to help Ghana attain the SDG Goal 6 of providing clean water and sanitation. And that's it for Mission. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.